are going to move on. We're going to switch up the order real quick because we got a, a little special guest. Uh, Lord Genki, are you in the building? I see your, your uh, Zoom is muted. Just want to make sure I can hear you, brother. Oh, hey there. Hey ah, there. the legend. Hey, okay, what's yes. Up, Loud space. So we're going to switch up the order a little bit because, again, we got to respect Lord Genki's time. And uh, we want to bring him in because this was a, a moment. Obviously, we know in Japan, this get, this man has been tweeting. <laughs> this man has been putting up all the pop-up events, all nice. these special things that are being done. I, I, oh, shout out to you with that Sephiroth, the train. When they had this, the, 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 you took a oh, picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, that was so cool so it, it is here we we are final fantasy 7 the rebirth you know obviously we're going to try to keep this impressions and spoiler free but now that it's out you know what are your thoughts lord geeky how we feeling this is your one of your favorite games is finally released oh yeah oh yeah thanks for having me on just for uh to talk about rebirth for a bit mm -hmm. Absolutely. But, yeah um yeah lord addict gave me a shout out and um uh, yeah i just jumped on quickly mm -hmm. and yeah the game is like super amazing i've been <clears> playing it uh for a bit now and um yeah i think it's just improved on everything uh upon reba i mean remake mm -hmm. like all the aspects the combat the mini games the open world the exploration like everything's like the cinematics as well and mm -hmm. like the character humor and acting everything's just gone a level up mm -hmm. and yeah it's like a super amazing game and mm -hmm. i'm really enjoying it at the moment and nice. yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's super good Nice, nice. So yeah, I'm hearing like crazy things about the mini games. If you had to say, without again, we're not spoiling too much, but what would you say is like your favorite? There's a lot of people like Queen's Blood. Some people like other, you know, other ones. What's 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 one of the ones that's keeping you from a mini game perspective? Oh, mini game, yeah. I have to shout out Queen's Blood. Yeah, that's mm. definitely the best one. Uh, no like doubt. it's like super deep and mm. addictive as well. Mm -hmm. uh, like the card game strategy element to it as well. So it's like a really deep card game. Nice. Uh, but there's so many other mi mini games as well. Like there's a Fort Condor that Fort was Condor. in the yeah. DLC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's really good. That's come back as well. And there's like Chocobo Racing. Um, there's, mm. there's, a, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So nice. Yeah. Yeah, man, that that was that was fantastic. Also, I want to talk about like the the newer things they added from a combat standpoint. You know, how are you feeling about like the um the synergy stuff? Like, you know, they've added that. Like, how, how, do you feel like it's adding to the to the to the combat even in a better way? Like, how are you liking that aspect? Oh yeah, the combat is like super super deep and amazing. I like. Uh, I already thought like the remake combat was really good, mm -hmm. but now we're having like everything has been enhanced for mm -hmm. a rebirth and. The synergy attacks is the main area where the combat has been enhanced mm -hmm. and it's using like these character team ups and character strategies mm -hmm. and also plays into like the character relationships as well. Uh, like as you develop, you can like unlock the different abilities and new moves mm -hmm. as well. And yeah, they're really cool. And like when you pull them off, they look super stylish. Yeah, they sort of yeah, they've inspired. even got some funny animations as well. And yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's super cool. <laughs> No doubt. So how many hours would you say you, you have in it about so far? Because I know you, as soon as that thing released, I, I figured you were going hard. <laughs> Extra. Uh, yeah, yeah. How, how many hours would you say? How far would you say you, you're in about? Uh, I'm about uh, 15 hours in at the moment. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so okay. yeah, I'm playing as much as I can. Uh, I've been playing on the portal as well. The, it oh, plays really well on the portal because really? like it's like it's like a mix of action and turn-based. So mm -hmm. it's not like, like a twitchy game. So it works well on the portal. As well, nice, nice. So you do, yeah, you do it. Because one thing I, I would agree with you, like turn-based games tend to really fit well, you know, say in that space. So Portals is doing well. That's dope, man. Attic, I'm going to let you jump in. It's also one of your babies. You've been streaming. You know, how you feel? Do you agree with Lord Genki? Do you feel, uh, you know, his assessment? What's your, what's your strong points about the game? How are you feeling about it? So let me answer the these questions real quick that the Realms asked. Oh, the Realm got questions. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. So it said, any data transfer like Mass Effect? Uh, no. Pretty much like what i don't agree with that they did is like they're acting like remake in terms of you playing it it's just like there's what you don't get nothing from that essentially like you get basic materia i'm kind of curious how they're going to handle that going into the next one are they going to do that again because i didn't really like it this one i mean in, in the grand scheme of things it doesn't bother me a whole lot but mm -hmm. no there's no like transferring of anything Okay. Uh, Elden Ring, so 23 million Final Fantasy won't come close if they stick to the PS5. Okay, that's just some uh, console stuff. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you can't sell that that much unless you're on everything. Uh, will they add a mode after you can play Sephiroth or Zack? Uh, well, S S Sephiroth is a playable character at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So they already have the work done. So, like, to me, after you beat the game, 
you should be able to just put them in your party. I think that would be fun just to go around the game playing in Sephiroth. Uh, playing in performance mode or quality? I heard if you have an yeah. LG OLED and kick up the sharpness, it helps with the blur. Um, so what are we playing? Genji, what what are you playing in Genji? Uh, I'm playing in the um, performance. Oh, you're doing yeah, performance? Yeah, same okay. too. Okay, because okay. mm-hmm. okay. I, I believe, and so I don't know if you saw this, there's a, uh, I think on the digital fantasy, everybody said that mm-hmm. like, they feel like the stability, the, the, the quality mode is the better mode? Is that, is, I don't yeah, know so if anyone, far. okay. Yeah, yeah they've said chance. that apparently, like for whatever reason, it's uh, when you play it um, in performance mode, it's uh, the like it's blurry. So and mm. they they had they were talking about some weird stuff where it's like if you play performance mode on a TV that is 1080p, so a 1080p monitor maybe, uh, like the ones that we have from like NZXT or something like that, like yeah. it looks great and runs great. Um, but if you're if you're downscaling on a 4K TV, there's mm. there's blur that kind of doesn't make it look good. Whereas you know running it in 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 30 FPS mode kind of get the best of both worlds and it's a solid 30 fps so again oh I so talk- you mean it was made for tcl television oh man, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, yeah, they know their audience boy i can tell you that <laughs> oh here we go this <laughs> is how we why does king wait to chime in with that because <laughs> <laughs> he has some problem going uh, on no, here was, he comes I was, I was waiting for y'all to get your bars <laughs> uh uh-huh. <laughs> when it comes to like the performance the moment i played the very beginning and because they're at the very beginning you, uh it won't let you switch back and forth correct like you had to be in performance i could tell i mean you have to be in, in, in uh, quality you could tell the difference right there just right there and i was like no nah, i'm good mm-hmm. i'm good and i never went back to it like look i get it it probably looks better mm-hmm. uh in in quality but you know and it's probably like in performance probably jumps too much mm-hmm. but if it plays above 30 I'm playing on the one that plays above 30. <laughs> That's where you at with it. No doubt. Yeah, all that other stuff don't mean nothing to me. Uh, someone said, does Final Fantasy Rebirth reward the player for exploring outside of the unnecessary material? Yes, it does. Heavenly, it does. No doubt. No doubt. And does Final Fantasy, it does fast travel have loading screens? Yes, but they're so short you won't even notice. So then they don't have loading screens. Not really. Yeah, it's, it's just like got, goes to black for like one or two seconds and then goes. Yeah, back. it's it's got. It's, that's what, it's, why it's I not said really a loading it's so screen. So short you won't notice. Oh, okay, so it's just like it for like a blip. Yeah, yeah. Kinda. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a little small. So um, attic again. So how far? How many hours you you got in the back? You fuck. You're ridiculous. <laughs> how many hours you got in the joint? <laughs> he's he's making it uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. it's, uh-huh. it's supposed. To be our moment. <laughs> Messy. I, got, I got 26. Wow. Okay. And I guess the, the question I have for both of you is now that you guys play it again, we're not spoiling chassis. You like spoiling the wind, Doug. We know spoilers. With the decision. Suffer off die. <laughs> <laughs> with the decision to make it open world. I know some people, I think it was a point of contention, but like, do you feel they pulled that off? So let's start with Lord Genki. Like, as opposed to the last one, right? Which wasn't, we didn't have that that segment of the game. Like, do you think this was a good decision so far? You were enjoying that aspect of the game. Yeah, I definitely feel it adds a lot of, a new level of gameplay, mm-hmm. like so much more content to the game because like there's all these quests, like you have this really large open area mm-hmm. and you can go to these quest marks and you unlock the towers, kind of like um, Assassin's Creed, you know, or the Ubisoft games. Mm-hmm. And then you do these little missions, but yeah. the missions are quite interesting um like the combat missions like because the combat of the game is so good then mm-hmm. like i don't really mind going and like defeating some enemies here and there nice. <laughs> yeah that's cool and then like um the other ones is like some of them are not so fun like mm, you have to one? like find these like crystals and like and uh like these summon uh, mm-hmm. things and then unlock them um by just doing like these button prompts like mm. these button prompt mini games and they're not that interesting. <laughs> Who's pumping bottoms? What's happening here? <laughs> yeah, continue. Continue. Continue, Genki. Continue. Button prompts. Yeah, but... Uh, and, wow. um, like, some of the open world elements, you have to do, like, this uncharted, like, climbing up the cliffs. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that part of the gameplay is not that interesting because uh, it kind of slows down the game It's kind of gimmicky, too. Like, yeah, sometimes really I feel gimmicky. like when I'm trying to go up, it's like, no, you got to go left and up. Like mm. yeah, Assassin's yeah, yeah. Creed felt more fluid when you did its like parkour situations. No doubt. Mm-hmm. Continue. Yeah, so that that kind of climbing is not that great in the open world. Right. But the the like riding the chocobo is really fun. 
Yeah. Uh, like ride, riding around the environments and mm -hmm. like swimming and like picking up all the like there's lots of materials uh, yes. that you can use to craft stuff mm -hmm. in the environment. So picking that stuff up is fun as well. Um, yeah. So it's just like expands the uh, the the area. But if you're not a fan of open world games, it could suck. But you could mm -hmm. just skip it if you're not a fan. So oh, that's okay. Awesome. So it's not like yeah. wait, oh, you, you can could skip, skip it. You you could skip the whole thing. Really? I skipped the first two regions. Didn't do one side mission. Really? Wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I did not know that. I thought it was a oh, mandatory okay. thing. So I literally when the story? when you, you just, what, yeah. what, when you leave the mine mm -hmm. in in, Ju in June, it, I literally went straight to June and didn't didn't stop by anywhere. Didn't do anything. Just went straight to June. So the and open then world June, part it takes you to optional. the other side. The, yeah, op I, the open world part is optional. That's the side quest aspect of it. They they've given you a world that you that as of right now. Keep in mind, I'm only 25 hours in. Mm -hmm. I just, <laughs> he said only. I, I, I just got to the uh, gold saucer. Uh, oh, you know, nice. I'm about to okay, go yeah. there. Uh, so to me, as of right now, the open world aspect, which I would call it more hub world because they separate them. Yeah. Uh, but those that aspect does seem entirely optional because it, mm. at the, in the second region, I didn't even know you had to get a chocobo to, to explore. Like, oh, I huh. literally went to the third region, skipped the second region. I didn't really do much in the first. And um, so I'm in the third region and I go back. I'm like, why can't I go anywhere? I had to, I had to capture a chocobo. So oh. it's like, you didn't even have to do none of that. And, and what's funny is in the third region, I went straight into the mountains, skipped all the third reason pretty much too. So it's like, you don't really have, now I will say I was struggling a little bit because mm. when, when you don't do all that extra stuff, like I was still rocking 25, 30 hours in, still rocking the base spells oh, wow. because oh, okay. I haven't okay. had much combat to level up. Wow. So you are even able to grind and get the, the, the Kiraga yeah. and the, the that, level. That's so, why I was like, you know so what? So it's grind I, heavy. No, it's not grind heavy. You uh. can still do it. The thing it's is, is as long right? as yeah, as long as you know, you know, to uh, analyze the enemy, find what they're weak to, find how to pressure them. Right, you could easily do this stuff. Like it's not really a big issue. One thing I don't like is they replaced. Um, okay, I don't like some of the mini games. I feel like they're being li a little bit too ridiculous. They're like everything's got to be a mini game. Uh, so I think they could have like definitely went back on that. Uh, some of the characters are a little weird. How mm -hmm. they how they've structured them, like Era to me, and I, I don't know how you feel about uh, Genshi. Uh, like I always felt like her base character was always revolved around healing. That's right. why her special, her limit break, is a healing move, and then it's like a an armor move. But like her best moves is just her mage. Mm. So it, it's just like I felt like they kind of butchered her her like combat style a little bit now. Don't get me wrong, she she's one of the most broken characters in the game, but I didn't visualize that's how she would play, if that makes sense. Like yeah. I always felt like she would be more of a support character, like when you branch out her actual fighting style. Mm -hmm. no I, doubt. I think the aerial combat's a little gimmicky sometimes. Like it, it the game doesn't really explain to you like how to do aerial combat to that degree. You have to kind of learn to yourself. So that's why a lot of people are having issues yeah. in that second demo where you fight that giant water dragon that's holding above out of the air. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, that's been an issue for for a lot of people. Um, you know, for, but for the most part, like the issues I have is just like little tiny issues. Like mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. really got too many uh, big issues. I, 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 I'm t almost 30 hours in, I haven't came across an all material. Well, they call it the magnetic in this one. And, um, that's kind of weird. Like, I, I feel like that's one of the most, you know, unique materials in the game. And you can't really get them in these games. Right. No doubt. Lucius uh, Augustus is mad. He's like, stop. He's telling too much. <laughs> Everyone's telling too much. <laughs> so we go, we, we chilling. Uh, sorry, guys. It's, I don't know what's going on with Zoom with the freezing. I think it's the international connection thing. So that may be an issue. But um, because it's definitely not our, my connection on the computer. So I think Zoom is just bugging out right now for a little bit. So if you see the freezing, I think it's just because we got the international thing going on right now. But I'm sorry. Um, Attic was going to follow up. And then I wanted to get Genki's final thoughts on that. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's pretty much it when it comes down to it, you know. I do think that this is a a phenomenal game, I, and I think you know people that uh, like this type of style is definitely 
Uh, what I will say, I'm not going to say about the story is uh, clearly the story isn't the same either. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm curious to see how they branch off on that and further in the yeah. game. Yeah, the only thing I'm obviously I didn't get a chance to play too much, but I did. I did want to rant. <laughs> I did have one issue that I really, really bothered me, and I, I, like I told you this beforehand, which was, um, you know, playing the demo with the carryover, and you know, as a person, I'm like, okay, I did the demo. That means I finish the Nabelheim joint. I go straight into chapter two once the full game comes out. Yeah. I get it. I'm like, all right, let's go, and the game literally starts the way the demo started from the beginning. So oh. I start panicking. I'm like, oh, no, it didn't, you know, carry my data over. So I go back to the demo. The demo then puts me back into the town with the, with the fire. So I'm like, oh, okay, it didn't complete for some reason. Let me complete that, and then this way it'll go. I go back. It still doesn't. It still stops me from the beginning in the main game. So now I'm like, well, maybe I didn't do the second part of the demo when you... <laughs> So, Geeky, I'm fighting that boss in the second demo where you got to save Yuffie, and this boss is not easy. So, I'm sitting there, yeah, I'm getting it's, trapped. It's I'm like, stuff. oh my God, water, I'm getting turned <laughs> into water bubbles. One person getting grabbed up. <laughs> I'm sitting here grinding the demo, and mind you, King, I only had three hours to play. I got two, four oh, hours. Man. I got a nice window. I'm going to make some progress. So, so you I see did, why I don't play demos? <laughs> so, I did all that, right? I go back to the game. Still starts me from the beginning. I said, all right, I give up. I'm, I'm, Y'all clearly want me to do this all over. I said, Square, this is the worst demo catch-up mechanic I've ever seen. I get to the part where it makes me do the whole demo. Right. Get to the talking part. Get to the part where we going up the mountain. And then the game says, oh, by the way, you can skip it now. I'm like, why did you even wow. make me start this? Mm. Square, I got to complain at y'all. Yeah, that part was annoying. They should have at least just said, hey, you did it. On to chapter two. Right. <laughs> so that was just my little rant. Rant over. I was, I was in my feelings, Genki, because I only had three hours one night, and I really wanted to make it dead from chapter two on. And I had to kind of do chapter one over and then play Mad at the Devil thinking it was something wrong with my clouds. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that, that was my experience. Sorry about that. But anyway. But you, but you finished the demo, right? You finished yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, five times. Damn, that's weird. It that's still the demo five times. It <laughs> still <laughs> makes you start the the main game. Still makes you start the first part of the demo that you did already. And I was just like, yeah, they, what? They pretty much make you play mm -hmm. the part where like everyone's like going all crazy on Sephiroth in the town. Like the moment you go in the mountain is when it says, "Yo, do you want to skip it?" Uh, I had the same issue, but I was streaming, so I was like, oh, "If I have to play the beginning, I have to play the beginning." Mm -hmm. At least it would be entertaining for the stream wise. But I ain't gonna lie, the moment it said, you can skip all this, it's like, chat, you're gonna have to deal with it, I'm skipping it. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. So yeah, I man, mean, before, before we wrap up, gang, I did want to get your your final thoughts. And, and just like, um, so far, I know, like obviously, got a bunch of hours in it, but so far, living up to expectations for you, are you satisfied, or you still want to see how they land the play and how they execute the whole thing when you eventually do beat it? Oh yeah, I'm super excited for the rest of the game. Yeah, I just want to say on the demo thing. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. They should like kind of like say when it's gonna when you can skip, um, because like yeah, you have to play like the whole tutorial, the whole intro <laughs> with the credits. Uh, you have to play like the tutorial section with Sephiroth mm -hmm. and go up to the mountain, and then you let you skip. <laughs> and also like you can also skip the the cutscenes, but. Um, it has like an extra cutscene at the end of the Sephiroth yes. bit from the demo. Yes. So like, if you played the demo, um, don't skip the Sephiroth yes. cutscene at the end because there's good an catch. extra, mm -hmm. extra cutscene. Good catch. So for those people who played the demo, um, yeah, you can skip the the bit where you're traveling up the mountain, but don't skip the Sephiroth cutscene. Good, man. Good, good advice. So again, final thoughts. Does it so far live up to expectation? And you know, um, you know, do you think they could? With potential to, to land a plane as far as the second part of mm -hmm. this trilogy. Yeah, yeah. I think they're definitely, um, yeah, in my point of view, like in terms of what I like in the games, is mm -hmm. like hitting all the, the points, like is doing all the checkpoints. So, like uh, in terms of the combat, in terms of the mini games, like mm -hmm. in terms of like the humor and like how interesting the characters are and like taking all the different elements from all the different Final Fantasy games and putting it all into one game mm -hmm. and just making it like a really fun experience. You, know, you got the costumes, you got like Ooh. the the combat, the the leveling mm -hmm. up system, the mm -hmm. the synergy yeah. attacks. This has got and the open world. Yeah, this has got so much content in it. And I, like I can't believe how big the game is. Like yeah, like, I I don't know how they fit it into like one 
or into one game you know, like, even if it's on two discs like the game's yeah. so massive and it has so much content and so many cutscenes and character dialogue mm -hmm. and like yeah, yeah this game is like crazy nice <laughs> like, yeah, it's living up to the expectation nice. yeah I, I think obviously i gotta finish the game because uh you know because of remake i i expect a, a curveball at any time in this game mm -hmm. So I got to see how they do that. I'm also curious, like I said earlier, how they're going to handle going about this in the third game. Mm -hmm. uh, because I have to play the end of the second to see if, like, you know, what exactly the energy is going to be like going into that. Mm -hmm. No doubt. No doubt. Final question for Genki before you get to because I respect this time. What's the energy in Japan right now? I see. I see the ads. <laughs> I see, like, is it? Is it? Is it? Are the people... Is it a fever pitch out there, or, or, or is it just subtle? Like some people are excited, the gamers are excited. What's the energy mm. in the street with Japan? Mm, good question. Um, yeah, I think it's more probably more like the second one you said. Like okay. it's a bit more subtle. I think like <laughs> it's just it's just the Final <laughs> Fantasy series in generally, like mm. in Japan. Yeah. It's kind of uh, yeah. It kind of went, kind of went down. Stop laughing. So, <laughs> so, is, so, it, so, 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 you said Dragon Quest is still is bigger over there. Yeah, yeah. Dragon Quest is still the, 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 like the, 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 the King is So, to, to uh, counter uh, King's it's, foolishness. It's not as hard as y'all thought, she was. <laughs> I know. I, I know that's what this. This. I know what he's doing. I, yo, I know what he's doing. Yo, 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 <laughs> They thought they had the bad chick. They walked in the club. Dudes was like, <laughs> they turned the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> mm, she's average. <laughs> Stop it. You ain't say all that. But a question. Show the light child. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, so the question I have though, what what is the game that when it does drop? It is a fever pitch in the Some Japanese Some Xbox game, I'm just joking. Stop it. <laughs> they said they be going crazy for that <laughs> They do not be going crazy. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <The> pandemonium. <laughs> Genki, what is the game that you see, like, really gone at that energy? Even more, like, from, I guess, mainstream and non-gamers as well when they release. I'm curious. What's mm -hmm. that game? Yeah, it would have to be a uh, Monster Hunter, I think. Yeah, Monster I was thinking Hunter. Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter. Yeah. Like yeah, when that. when wilds come out, that uh, things are gonna go crazy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's so wild to me how Monster Hunter. Think, yeah. Do you think Dragon Dogma Two is gonna get anything? Uh, I think it'll do okay. It's it's not that yeah, it's not that crazy. Not nothing too crazy. I think it'll do decent though. Mm -hmm. But okay. yeah, nothing too crazy. I think um, yeah, Japan is like open world games. There's not. They're not that popular. What I about guess. Pokemon? Yeah, po uh, yeah, Pokemon crazy. Yeah. Oh, Pokemon he crazy. Said, he said Pokemon, Pokemon go hard out here. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a question. Is is Power World Pokemon. even recognized out there? Is is anyone playing Power World out there? Uh, when Nintendo got that cease and desist, we ain't doing that over here. <laughs> we shut that yeah. down. Anybody put that yeah. on their storefront? It's on site. Nintendo trying to keep that one quiet. And <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Nintendo. Shout out to Nintendo. They ain't having none of that. They're like, nah, man. He's out on the Japanese internet. You put a well, power think, world and give something else. <laughs> I think the uh, the company that made it, they're Japanese too, aren't they? Yeah. So there's yeah, no Japanese there's, Kiki, power. there's no power world advertisements anyway. Do you see it anywhere? Um, no, I think Xbox are advertising in the stores with their like um, with the Game Pass. Really? Okay. But okay. outside that, you don't really see. You don't it, see it, so. yeah. well, I mean, yeah. To be fair, I don't think I've seen them promote that game in general. Like, but like, I don't. I haven't seen much like promotion for that game. True. I mean, in fairness, it's a game preview as, a full, as opposed to a full release. I was just, I was just curious about awareness, right? And, and Geki made a good point. He's like, no, it's, it's not. It's not anywhere. It you was know. in the news a lot, but that was oh. just because it was like um, copying Pokemon. So, so it was, so, like, it was oh, everywhere in the news. So in the news, can you give me? I'm, I'm curious. Is it is the news reported in a negative connotation? Like this is seems to be a rip off of Pokemon, or is it saying, "Hey, this is something that's just popular"? That like what what's the tone of the reporting? Oh, <laughs> uh, um, I guess at the original it was more like. Um, yeah, this is like a ripoff of Pokemon. <laughs> that, that was like the, the online <laughs> the on Twitter. <laughs> uh, so like everyone was just tweeting. Oh, what is this like a uh, Pokemon ripoff? Uh -huh. So yeah, that's what the, that that's what was trending. At that's the what trending. Yeah. Oh, but I guess there are there are players in Japan, but they're more on Steam. Um, okay. So, okay. So, yeah. And but the, the not, chat. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. Like, the chat asked about Persona. About Persona. 
Oh yeah, Persona is popular in Japan. It's not like it's like a super popular series, but it's not like crazy, crazy popular. I think mm-hmm. Final mm-hmm. Fantasy is still more popular. No okay. doubt. All right, cool. We gotta get you out before they meme you and put K in their news <laughs> and say you on the file. Report, yeah, report, report live report the streets X- of Japan. <laughs> we, <laughs> he let us know that she not as hot as they thought they were. See, that, we gotta get him out. They're gonna clip him and they're gonna put this false narrative and put K in their news that you are report Japanese reporter on the ground. And we gotta yes, protect you, brother. We gotta guy, protect you. That's my guy. That's my guy. Later, Genki. I, I, I appreciate your work, Genki. Genki said that it's not hot. <laughs> news at 11. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. Yeah, see, Ask I'm, your parent, hoping, relax. I see you. <laughs> Good. I'm hoping it sells uh, better than 16, but I will mm. see. Like, it might be close mm. or like a little less, but we'll see. Wow, you don't think it might. Wow. <laughs> He's like, wow, you don't think it might. <laughs> no, it's interesting. I didn't realize 16 was, was so pop. I thought they didn't like it. PS5 only, but we'll mm-hmm. see. I'll, it'll be interesting to see how it does compared to 16 in Japan. Because he know PS5 don't sell. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> You're a Yankee, you the gift that keep on giving. <laughs> <laughs> we would de- definitely keep you posted as far as the you know the sales as far as in comparison to sixteen. That is very very interesting. Oh man, they better be sixteen. Cause remember what they said about sixteen. <laughs> out of control. Oh, yeah, but that's just in Japan. I think worldwide. Uh, I think Talk to them. Mm, yeah, oh, 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 over here we delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our delusion. <laughs> Because yeah, over anyway. there, where they make her, she's not that hot. You're ret- <laughs> she's not that hot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, Gigi, I appreciate you, brother. Oh, yeah, again. Thanks, thanks for again me. for taking the yeah. time. We'll definitely thank have you, you back in the realm. You are absolutely thank hilarious, you, you. super informative, but at the same time, really expect the time difference, brother. Really, like, yeah. you know, anybody that gets up that time to be with us, Super, like, no, super Lord, 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 uh, Send me a message and I was up. So I was like, oh, okay. oh my <laughs> man. My yeah, man, thanks, Lord thanks Geeky. Thanks for the shout out. And thanks no, guys for having me on. No doubt. No, have yeah, a good one, brother. Thank you, man. Peace. Enjoy the rest of the yeah, show. Yeah, you definitely don't awesome. want to be around for the next thing that's up.